you're watching Lily TV, the amazing place where you too can find the tools to build a great business. And today we're in for such a treat because we have Florin, who is a business process consultant. He is a management uh, consultant for businesses and he can enable you to automate the processes in your business and your systems so that you can have more time to do what you love. So, Florian, thank you so much for coming on Lily TV. Thank you for having me, Lily. It's a pleasure. Right. So, uh, Florian, can you tell us a little bit about your model? Um, I know that you have a really amazing model that you offer for businesses in order to build their business, to automate what they're doing so they can have more time to do what they love. So, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, of course. Um, the particular model we're talking about is called the POWER methodology and uh, POWER is an acronym for Perspective, uh, Opportunity, War Plan, Engagement and Results. Uh, this is a, a very productive um, product which we come with and we, we have great results um, and very effective for, for businesses we work with. We basically take the businesses through this process and in perspective we try and identify um, the main goals of, the, of that particular business and the vision of the business owner confirm that is the correct thing and what he really wants to do with his business. Then we move to opportunity where we try and see where the gap is and what's the opportunity in the roadmap to fill this gap. Um, and then we move uh, to a war plan as I call it. And I call it war plan because if you go to war, you're gonna have a strategy, you want to win and you are prepared. This is a few, few other things. And this is where we craft a practical action plan and in engagement we try to implement the plan and follow through and my personal uh, uh, mission there is to make sure that the business owner and his team are actually sticking with the plan and not deviating the plan and uh, then we get to the phase of results where it's more about optimizing everything and safeguarding and making sure this uh, solid foundation which we laid it's actually systemized in such a way that can that can be um, you know that can assure the future of, of this business you know that the business is going to run well in the long term as well okay excellent and what makes you so special <laughs> i'm not sure about yes. special but um, <laughs> what i like to do is i like to work on the business which is strategies and procedures and systems and but I, I want to look I, I would like to look uh, very good at the business owner and the team as well so I do the business side and I do the personal side as well because at the end of the day if the owner is not motivated does have the correct motivation and does not uh, follow some uh, rituals and is not disciplined then uh, implementing as many procedures as many strategies is not going to work in the other way around if uh, uh, the business owner has all the motivation and he has the correct attitude but the strategies are not good then it's going to be a, a problem there as well you know so working on, on both on both things for me it's very fulfilling as well and I love to see all the business I work with succeeding that's it's a great thing and what can a business do like for example let's say I'm a business owner and I'm watching this right now what can I do in order to automate my processes in order to basically, basically ensure that when I'm gone you know, my employees don't do whatever they please and that my business can continue to function. You know, so what are some basic steps that someone can start to do so that, you know, they can start, you know, ensuring that their business runs by itself or, you know, almost by itself. Normally what happens, most cases you have the solopreneurs and they do everything themselves, they're the operating managers. Mm -hmm. um, and slowly, slowly the business grows and they start taking on um, employees and that's when the problem starts you know because they have the, uh, the impression that I know how to do this uh, I get more people and I they're gonna help me and they're gonna be the perfect team but normally it doesn't happen like that you know mm -hmm. uh, when you have when you start employing people you start dealing with every single employees personal things as well and what they bring to the table so first of all you have to identify your processes and that's like a continuous changing and improving documentation if you call it like that and whatever you do in the in the business you kind of write it down and make a process for every single step I mean how this helps you and it helps your team uh, as well because they have clear instructions in the moment 
when the team doesn't know exactly what they have to do, they, it generates a little bit of anxiety. But if you have a very well designed process where they know what to do step by step, and most importantly, you know what the outcome should be, and they align with the company goals, the company main goals, then it makes it make, gives them a lot of confidence, and they show up in a in a more powerful and more productive way. So you you safeguard every single process, you make procedures, and you basically train your staff to follow these procedures and there's a there's a quite lengthy process because they have to they will make mistakes and you have to correct those mistakes in a very productive way and also we, not every single employee is like a <laughs> star or a superstar so either they can be trained or maybe they're not suitable for that position so it takes a little bit of time to uh, you know have your, your your perfect team in place and then once they know exactly how to follow these processes, you as a business owner can focus on the business, not doing everything as an operator manager in the business. You can step back a little bit, and then you can look at future strategies, new deals, you know, networking, and just bring more and more and more business. I have a very good question for you, okay? So, first of all, how can you ensure that once you have created, we have written down everything that happens, how can you ensure that your team actually follows that. Well, mm -hmm. just like I said, um, you have to do it with them for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way you you make sure that they follow this procedure is creating some very precise future goals. Mm -hmm. like I always say that as a business owner, you're working on two businesses all the time. Number one, it will be your cash flow mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And number two will be five years from now. Yeah. Because I mean, especially in this fast moving economy, if you don't have a strategy for like the future, you're going to get wiped out. If you only concentrate on the present, you're going to get wiped out in five years. Or if you only concentrate in the future vision, then your cash flow might suffer. So you're always going to keep your eye on both of these. So having clear goals and make sure your team is aligned with these goals and you know they share a, a common vision, then it will be easier for you to do these procedures with them together. And like I said, if there's any mistakes or any problems, there will be a learning experience if mm -hmm. you have the right members. Mm -hmm. you know? And then obviously you're still there, but you're not doing it yourself. You know, people can reach out and check and ask, and you have to create this support system between your team that there's always, you know, always someone they can they can rely on and ask questions. And the other very important thing, and it's one of the products which I do, it's project management plan, and that's the Bible of your business. I call it like that. Um, and in, in that project management plan, there will be procedures for everything. So if any member of the team is stuck with something that is not sure, you can always check in the, in the project management plan and see what the solutions are given in there. And then obviously check with, with colleagues, with yourself and you know. Very good. And what about, how can you actually do these procedures and systems? What do you do? Do you actually just start writing uh, like step one, step two, yes. step three, like this? Yes, it's pretty old-fashioned way, and uh, you observe what's happening, and even if I, I don't know, it could be you know customer relations, for example. You, know? mm -hmm. you observe your staff doing uh, their normal job with, with customers, and you look for ways how you can improve it, how you, you can serve better, how you can um, be more friendly, or how can you attract the customer or keep them um, in in a, in a much better way, and you put that in writing, you know. Mm -hmm. You put, you make a structure for everything, you know, like even if you have to make a call, obviously every single person has his own style and his own personality, but within this, there has to be a structure of things which they should go through in that call. For example, I'm just giving an example, you know, and that's a procedure, mm -hmm. which is in a project management plan and every every new employee which comes on board, it can, le can learn it from there and apply it and the job makes things a lot easier. And thank you. And what kind of results have you gotten already for other clients or for businesses and so on? As you, in your role as a you know a business consultant or whatever management consultant. It's it's really really interesting because um, you have different types of business owners, and normally the business owners which have a future vision, and they value consulting a lot because mm -hmm. it fast tracks everything, and you avoid all these pitfalls. We, we had amazing results. I mean, I work with, with all sorts of companies, with betting companies in Gibraltar, with uh, e-commerce uh, companies in USA, racing uh, academies in the UK. 
and um, we uh, I've seen a, a lot of improvement in a lot of different areas in the business first of all I've seen a lot of cost cutting which is really important because it hurts your pocket immediately mm -hmm. uh, we've seen a lot of better customer retention uh, and customer lifetime value because all of a sudden customers want to come back and buy more and more products uh, we seen a lot of uh, team communication and team culture if I call it like that improvement where all of a sudden by the tools we implement around communication and meetings and thing is with, the, with, with people that don't like to be told what to do and you cannot speak at them you have to communicate and the best way to engage them is to let them create that future of the company you you let them be creative and come up with best ideas to um, to imp improve your company and if you support them in this respect and if they they feel involved they they will just be so much more productive you know so um, that's some elements which which you see so we have businesses which literally they 10x in about under a year you know wow. I'm, I'm not kidding like wow, it's in, amazing and the most important thing is like business owner all of a sudden becomes a much better much happy much mm -hmm. happy person because it's a lot less stress things run a lot uh, smoother and to be fair with you if if we all been there and done that if you're like in a very stressful environment and very stressful uh, period of on your business that affects your personal life and self-esteem and a lot of other things and if everything works okay then you're a better person with your family and with your friends and uh, it has been a huge huge impact uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this because it's great great satisfaction for me it's really fulfilling seeing, seeing things and people just improving everything in all the areas of their life you know yes and you were mentioning just earlier that you had a program regarding energy building as well right so you're a bit kind of like uh you have something in the pipeline regarding that yes there's a How? new there's a new product uh, a new product which i want to launch and i just just finish designing everything and what i noticed that most people and, and people think about leadership and everybody talks about engagement and productivity and motivation for this stuff mm -hmm. but there's one thing which governs all this and that's energy so if someone's in the room, in the ballroom, and everybody's around the table and is trying to engage you and motivate you, if you come from home with a completely flat energy, mm. nothing's gonna happen, you know? And step one is to make people aware, because 90 something percent of people, they don't even aware of the energy they project on themselves and on the people around them. Mm -hmm. So awareness, it's first step, and then we give practical tools how to manage your energy, and how to manage the energy of people around you mm. in a way that whoever you interact with it basically feels lift up and it's like oh that was nice I want to talk with this guy again you know and yeah. that that um, that reflects on your deals you're making yes. and networking and yes. people will just enjoy and love being around you because you energize them you're not doing the opposite of, like dragging them down and when you talk about uh, at personal level and the team level if your team is in good energy, then you can start the process of engaging and creation and motivation. But if 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 there's few people which they're not aware, they have a very flat energy and they bring everybody down, it something's not going to be right, you know. And um, this I'm very excited about this, and I speak with a lot of people, and they were really excited and say, "Well, man, I can't wait to see this." So I think it will be good because I, I give practical tools for you first of all to be aware of energy and then to learn how to boost your energy and it's really really simple it's not being complicated and it can make a massive difference in your personal life and in uh, your um, professional life as well wow and if i was someone i was a low energy person in my business you know and i was thinking oh how can i possibly do this energy thing i mean i haven't had energy 24 years ago when I started this company or you know two years ago when I started this company so if, if, if you know we have a business owner like that thinking okay how can I possibly I mean I, how can you even expect me to have energy I mean I'm answering emails all day long uh, you know my wife uh, you know uh, bothers me my children <laughs> you know I don't have the energy for anything how can I possibly have energy I mean my employees drive me insane and so on so what would you what kind of exercises can someone do 
in order to feel super energized so they can produce more and be more excited at work and have more you know better productivity and enhance their performance what can they do well first of all i start with awareness and we, we will see we'll make you aware you know where are you on the scale with uh, on the level with your energy and then we'll identify because they, there's different types of energy you have um like your spiritual energy for example you have your intelligent energy for example there's different types of of energy which you use in different processes in your life and as a as a tool and practical tools um, uh, breathing it's a really really important uh, important tool which anybody can use and it's so simple and like i say we have um, uh, for most of the uh, things that, that happens in our body for our blood we have a draining system for our food we have a draining system but for our lymphatic liquid which is a lot of it in your body we don't have a draining system and that can make us feel like clogged up and heavy and you know low energy and breathing so that out that's how you clean your lymphatic um, uh, system and uh, like you see yoga and lots of these disciplines they put a, a, a huge accent on breathing but there's different techniques where you do it for like two to five minutes and you're tingling and your hands are on fire and that's energy it comes from inside and when I mean this is just an example I give you and if, if you practice that daily and uh, you combining with a little gratitude starting and focusing on what's good rather than what's not so good then you will you get results you know after like a week you will just feel jumping bouncing off the walls you know Mm. Yeah, sounds very exciting. The other thing I, that really impressed me about Florin is that he you, you do karate, right? Uh, well, martial arts, but not karate. It's Aikido. And okay. Aikido has a lot to do with energy and spirituality and mental strength and discipline. Is that where you learned everything about energy as well? Uh, com yes, most of it. I mean, without even knowing it, I've been doing it for years just because you do it in this environment. And then I realized, hang on, this is a powerful tool to use in everything in life mm -hmm. okay I mean you've heard Florin he has some amazing knowledge about how to build your your business processes and also how to use energy in order to create more in your business in order to basically sell more and become more productive have a higher team performance automate your business now tell us who is this for? Like, if I was, you know, someone that has just started my business, can I use the kind of uh, information that you give me? Or is this mainly for a, a bigger company? Or who is this for? Uh, well, it, it has a quite a wide range because I have a lot of products starting from just a simple call to see where you're at in life and what, what you're after. Um, I have um, a, co a product called Startup Kit, which um, it's a cheaper product and uh, targets the startups we know as a startup as well and I know how hard <laughs> it is and how many pitfalls are there and I'm really willing I'm, I'm actually doing um, volunteer mentorship for startups as well um, then I have products for medium-sized companies which they like five employees and up and I have products for corporate and boardroom for bigger teams and stuff like that and uh, normally it follows up with coaching sessions and all the products I'm, I'm doing, they focus on results. So they design that a way that they have a follow up and uh, that's to ensure that you're going on the path and you don't deviate from the path and you get results until you find on your own or we find a continuity program or something like something for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds very exciting. So, do you have anything that, for example, the, the viewers could potentially, you know, uh, how can they get in touch with you and how do you have anything that they could potentially, you know, check out so that they can already see what you have to offer or do you have a product to offer? Yes, I have a few interesting things. You can find me on quantumlifeconsulting.co.uk um, and I have, I'm running groups personal development groups which is like a transformational program which um, goes for a duration of three months and i always accept a couple of people for free in those groups they're limited to seven people which two of them they come for free so if you go to my website uh, quantumlifeconsulting.co.uk you can you can check out free resources and you can sign up for this um, um, free personal development transformation program which runs over a duration of three months I have also uh, discovery calls 
which is like 45 minutes call and is not a sales speech nothing like that is simply trying to add value and uh, see exactly where you are where you want to go and will be the best strategy for you for you to to, to get there yeah so. excellent and I was very impressed with your power methodology as well so uh, you know the power methodology that you you uh, created that enables businesses to have amazing processes in their business right yeah. this power methodology is really complex and it's refined over the years I mean I have over 17 years of project management under my belt and I've been working in Europe, Africa and India in some, some very tough environments like in India I had like 600 stuff uh, and multicultural and really really complex businesses um, and I extracted everything all the tools which I use uh, mm -hmm. which helped me make this, um, this uh, project successful and I package them in this power methodology, so it's hands-on experience um, I I I, be per I personally been through, and it's I try to cover all the aspect of the business in this, and I try to look like I said on the strategy and on the operations and on the people, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day they all have to go hand in hand, and that's where you have the best synergy and the best growth you can uh, you can get. Yes, I totally agree, and I'll tell you this that. I am so grateful to to my team, you know, I'm so grateful to my team for the fact that, you know, like, I d don't really like technology. I mean, I, well, I do to some extent, but I'm not so good with technology, you know, in certain areas. So I get the help of my team in order to, to help me cope with whatever I, uh, you know, I struggle with. And, you know, that helps me get ahead. And I don't have to keep that as, uh, you know, I can't do stuff, you know, I can just uh, simply get ahead in business without having to know everything. You know, I, the parts that I don't know, I just get the help of my team. And it's a really good thing to basically to have synergy in your team where, you know, someone can complement your skills. And that's exactly what we have in our business. And this is exactly why, you know, uh, our, you know, speakers, our leaders business really works because, you know, we complement each other. You know, some people do, um, you know, the web design part and others do the marketing part and others do, you know, I do the writing part. I'm really passionate about writing and, uh, you know, and I also help, uh, you know, people to look great and uh, to enhance their profile and uh, to enhance their profile so that they can, you know, get more, more speaking opportunities and so on. But if I, I think I couldn't do that if my team didn't really, you know, make the big effort to produce like all the banners and all the you know like the book covers and all the you know like the websites and so on i i, I mean i can't really imagine doing all of that yeah. so the really good uh thing well you are actually in a very good position because you would be surprised to find out that the biggest hold up for a lot of startups is actually the business owner because it's your baby you know and it starts to grow and all of a sudden you have to get these strangers to do things for you and you it, it, it's a lot of people have this especially guys they're like a lot more attached to the business like i say i better do everything myself and it doesn't work because you employ these people now you give them tasks but somehow you end up doing the tasks for them they feel undermined you know by you and you get to a point you cannot do everything yourself because you're just one person and so many hours in the day and uh, literally I had a lot of a lot of uh, clients and I had to frankly tell them you are the bottleneck you are the bottleneck so decide where I mean think about in five years from now how much can you grow if you want to do everything yourself you know mm -hmm. and what uh, team you're gonna have around you if you give them a task and then you go and do it you know so <laughs> you know it undermines people and they don't feel they don't feel valued and they you understand what I'm saying so yes um, in a lot of cases the business owner can be the bottleneck and if, if he has the mentality and if he wants to grow and the correct mindset which i help them with um and they accept this this help then obviously they realize oh hang on it's not what i'm doing you know and then the, the, the process and as hard as it is they start trusting the team and they start implementing the process and everything just opens a new world of possibilities for them because as a business owner it's all about the next deal you're making mm -hmm. it's not about doing invoices and running to the shop and doing things you have to have your team doing this important stuff for you but you have to do the more important one which is working on your business yeah and this yeah. is exactly what my partner harry does you know so this is why we make like a really good you know combination in terms of a team 
because you know Harry is amazing at public speaking I mean he's incredible and I'm very good at writing you know I'm very good at making people look great online and I'm kind of like enhancing their profile and uh, then you know our team is very good at producing you know the banners of the websites and the business cards and so on and uh, you know together you know we support each other and we, we you know we uh, we are a great team and but all, we also learn from each other I think it's important uh, you know to, to learn from each other because for example like I used to be really terrible at speaking and you know I'm not amazing but I am you know way 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 better it, than I was before it's very satisfying yeah. to see progress and yes. in it from from my perspective and considering everything I done to this point in my life growth can only be achieved when you involve small people so you cannot grow on your own you're always going to be limited you know you need to be around people which are the level you want to be you need to be influenced by them you need to work with people you need to let go of your ego you need to complement each other and work in a productive manner and that's basically in your personal life in your family with your friends and in your business that's what i think yes and in my case i can even say that one plus one doesn't equal two you know in terms of a team it equals exponential number simply yep. because you know when you put two you know two people or a you know a bigger team of people that really complement each other what happens the creativity you know the productivity exactly. that you get coupled with the yep. systems right then you get exponential growth now if you're missing any one of these then you could be doomed for failure because what happens you could be growing so much and then what happens at some stage you're just growing 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 but then the the people that are need to be doing the the work they don't know how to do it yep. and they just end up um improvising i it, what we're seeing now uh, uh, this uh, business is just incredible it's growing so fast and many things become irrelevant so fast as well and people are confused because the old ways doesn't wo don't work anymore and uh, it's, it's good for us consultants and if you're a business owner and you think it's expensive to pay for a consultant it will be a lot more expensive not to and I'm not saying this because me you can get any consultant but please reach out because consultant means fast track and you think I don't want to spend this extra money because you know it costs me money and so on but someone else does it and someone else gets ahead of you you know because of because they don't waste time to to make all those mistakes and follow I mean fall into the pitfalls they they go right past and they, they are there anyhow it is hard, especially for startups like 90 something, 95% fail in the first year. And this is simply because that one person who who's the business owner, you know, I mean, if you want to, if you want to make a startup, if you want to grow it to a million dollars or pounds or whatever, you can do that. But you have to become a person to own that million business uh, dollar. And depends where you are in your life on, on this scale. And if you're not, at the level of owning the one million dollar or if you don't have a millionaire mindset you can get that by reaching out and speaking with other people who who done that before so it's very simple it's it's very simple but it's not easy and you know it's a very very good point but i'll tell you i'll tell you this what can someone do when they're just getting started you know because when you're getting started what happens that you're the marketing department you're the sales department you're the you know, you're the operational department, you're everything, you're the one-man band. So what can a one-man band do if they have no resources, no time, no money, like literally they don't know where to start? What can someone like that do to automate everything so that at some point they can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Well, I will go one step backwards and um, I, I'm using my experience and this is something which I learned on my racing career because I race cars as well. Um, it's never is about reflexes. It's always about anticipation, you know. And uh, it's the same in business. When you do that startup, you gotta go to this process of um, really looking clearly. If you have a chance, first of all, in the market, you have to see where the market is. And most people they fall into into this trap of developing the product and developing the product and making it better and better and better and spending money without trying to sell you have to sell from day one and this is this, this end of story you have to sell from day one you have to sell your idea you have to sell yourself you have to see if people 
react positively to, to what you want to bring to the market. Don't have this idea, no, I'm going to perfect the product. You work three years in the product, on the product and then go to market and the market say, well, we don't care. You know, we don't like the product. So you have to sell from day one, make sure that the product uh, it's interesting and it's appealing to your market, make a minimal uh, viable product, put it out there on, on the market and then build up from there. Focus on that. That's, that's where the 90% of the failure happens. Yeah, so I totally, I mean, I totally agree. And uh, I just need to highlight this, that really, it doesn't matter how, you know, how successful your business is. At some point, you will have to consult yeah. Florian, right? Yeah. Because you need someone who is going to look at your business processes and, and systems and come up with something that's going to make your business so efficient that's going to save you money, right? Because at some point you're losing money somewhere. You know, if always. you're you're always losing money somewhere if uh, you know people don't know how to do their job better, people don't know how to, you know, how to basically um, save time, they don't know how to take the shortcut, they don't know how to do it like you. And the fact is they will never do it like you because they don't have the same incentive. Yep. So it's always a great idea to consult Florin because he's amazing and I am so happy that I have invited Florin to Lily TV. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lily, for having me. Thank you. And uh, you're watching Lily TV, the amazing place where you too can find the tools to build a great business. Thank you and I'll catch you next time. It was a pleasure. Thank you.